G'day everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Uh, next up for you today I'm going to give you a look at um, one of the clones from Revenge of the Sith. It's this guy here. This is um, a deluxe figure from the Revenge of the Sith line. It's known as the uh, Firing Jetpack Aerial Clone Trooper. Push the little red button, its wings spring out, just close back down like so. Um, these rockets here um, fire, just um, touch them down at the bottom and they fire out and the jet backpack is removable. These are um, pretty cool clones, I like these ones, they uh, really add to the display of Revenge of the Sith clones. As you can see it's got a really unique gun, I've not seen this um, with any other Star Wars figure. Certainly none from the Revenge of the Sith, none of those clones have this gun except this guy. So, um, a little flimsy, you know, it could be a little stronger and sturdier. But um, it's got nice styling, this rifle. And I'll quickly um, run through the articulation. Um, surprisingly, there's no articulation at all in the neck on these guys. It's neither ball jointed or swivel, just does not move at all. Um, he has swivel shoulders, uh, swivel elbows. And um, just double check, I don't think there's any movement at all in the wrist. No, no articulation to the wrist. It does hold the gun pretty good. He's got a trigger finger that fits nicely. Um, just a swivel waist. Uh, swivel hips. I'm not really fond of um, this style of hip. Um, it has ball hinged knees and also ball hinged ankles. So its articulation is pretty decent. It could have done um, maybe a swivel neck, but you know I can certainly live without that. Um, ball hinged elbows would have been better than just swivel elbows and some swivel wrists. Would have been nice. Wouldn't be surprised to see them do this figure again one day. The rocket's still in place. Uh, these guys are a little difficult to stand, but you can get them to stand. Um, and yeah, one thing, there's no holes in the bottom of the feet on this guy, which is really not so great as they are quite hard to stand. As you can imagine, they're a little bit prone to tipping backwards. You just sort of have to lean them slightly in a forward position to keep them balanced. But I'm really happy I got these guys when I did. I managed to pick them up in the stores back in 2005. But you certainly won't find them in too many stores these days. eBay of course is the best bet to find them. I've seen them going at pretty reasonable prices too actually. So if you wanted to get yourself one or two or more, eBay's the place to go. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the Deluxe Revenge of the Sith Firing Jetpack Aerial Clone Trooper. Um, I'll be back to do more reviews soon. Until then, may the Force be with you.